My name's Houston, and I'm back with another pickup. And this time I picked up the Jordan 1 Mids. And this is the Hyper Royal colorway. And it looks like the Game Royal Highs. Kind of that blue and black colorway. But it's a mid model, so, you know, it's not as high. So these I got for $30. And here's a look at the label. The retail price is $115 on these. It comes in the black and gold box. Box is a little, got a little bit of creasing on it, but you know it's intact, it's not crushed or anything. Inside it's got the white paper with the gold 23s on it. And there's, there's nothing else in there. And these are an 11 and a half. And like I said, um, I wasn't really looking to pick these up, but I mean, for $30. And as expensive as shoes are nowadays, I went ahead and grabbed them. Let me turn this light down a little bit. Yeah, so like I was saying, I got these for $30 on uh, Poshmark. And that's where I found these. And I'm not, I'm not sure about the release date. I think they came out in 2021, 2020 or 2021. I remember these. They were there were three colorways. There was this one, the bread, and the Chicago's. You know the ones with the white heel back here. So I had the breads before, but I put them up for sale to see if anybody was interested in them, and they sold right away. So those are gone. I did wear them once or twice. I never had the Chicago colorway, but. I've never seen it for sale either. And then I saw this pair here, so I looked again because I didn't remember the game models having this blue on the or on the eyelets here, on the middle section, this panel here. And then I remembered those three colorways of mid, so I went back and I waited a day or two to see if anybody was gonna buy them. And then when I went back, they were still available, so I went ahead and picked them up because I do like the colorway, but you know, it's it's a mid, it's not a high, which is not a a big difference to me. It's only a high is uh, maybe half an inch taller, but the materials on this thing are pretty good. It's got like tumbled leather and the creasing wasn't too bad. I got some shoe trees in there to straighten out the the toe box and you can see it in there it's, it does have the jump man on the tongue the tongues are kind of thin they don't have a lot of padding or well, they don't have any padding it's just a a thin padding here's a look at the tag here and like I said, I got them for $30, which is, in my opinion, pretty good. I'll pay $30 for a pair of Jordans any day. And they're not even beaters. They're, of course, used, but, you know, they're not beat up. Or There's just a little bit of creasing on the toe box here. I don't know if they came with extra laces, but these had black laces on them. And what else can I say about them? Heel drag, very little, minimum. And the other shoe too, it's got minimum heel drag, just a little bit there. Midsoles are really good. There's no scuffs on them or anything like that. Star loss is a minimum too. It just has a little bit here in the front. And like I said, the game oils look kind of like this, but these got a black sole. It's not blue. 
And I think what I, when I had the breads, I painted this part black just to make them look like the highs. But on this pair here, I haven't decided yet. I do like the black and blue colorway. But I may go ahead and, you know, black that out just to make it look like the high because I don't know. It just doesn't look right with this blue part here. And there's no jump man on the back. And that's what I like about the newer mids. You know, they took the, they got rid of the jump man on the back. So overall, I'm uh I'm satisfied with them. You know, like I said, they didn't cost too much. And I think the what scared people off is the price, because you know, especially the younger younger kids, they see the price, low price they automatically go to their replicas or their fake. But that's not always the case. Sometimes people need money and they want to get rid of them quick. And I think that's what happened with this guy. He said, uh, well, I'm not going to put his business out there, but but he would rather have the money than the shoes. And, you know, that's understandable. I do that a lot of times, too. Sometimes I, do, I need money for the weekend. I'll go sell some of my shoes to the pawn shop or flip them locally, you know, just to make it through the week. But... but they are authentic and you know you can resell these if you wanted to maybe $80 if you wanted and I think I'm gonna hold on to them for now like I said I'm gonna black that part out later on but I want to get a couple of wears out of them first uh, before I get rid of them if I get rid of them I may keep them because I don't have a pair of the highs. And you know, these colors, you can wear them with a lot of things. But uh, let me know what you think. Was it a good deal? Was it not a good deal? In my opinion, I think it is. Anytime you know you can get a pair of Jordan 1s for $30 uh, that are authentic and come with a box and everything. It's a good deal, so um, any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. I will be around for a couple of days on YouTube doing things, so I'll be able to answer any questions or respond to anything you got to say or, or curious about. So I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, and I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, before I go, I wanted to show you I went ahead and did it painted the the blue part black and all I did was use the Angela's flat black paint two coats to start with and then I hit it with the four coat uh, matte finish and it is going to leave it a little bit chalky looking so I went over it one last coat with the flat black and it matched the factory paint pretty good so I'm going to leave it as that Everything dried, so they came out pretty good. They look a lot better than what they did before with the blue. So I just wanted to show you before I take off. And I'm going to go ahead and wear these today. I decided since they went ahead and dried, and I laced them up, so I'm going to go ahead and throw these on foot today. So... I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here and I'll catch you on the next video.